I'm going to show you the Lazy Daisy stitch. And that is not a stitch you see too often on most kits. It is, I'm working on the Christmas and Oz kit right now. Uh, this calls for four strands, individual threads of the floss, and you start at the base of the teardrop, pull up. And what's always important when you're working with several strands of thread is to make sure that they are laying there nicely. And I like to straighten them out with my needle tip so that when I pull this through, I'm going to go right back down the hole that I came up. I'm going to put the tip of my needle right in front of the printed loop. I want to be covering the ink print the ink stamp and I want it to look full and nice so I don't pull it too tight and then I'm going to stitch right on the back side of the top of the loop to anchor that stitch in place. That looks pretty good. We'll do one more over here right up at the base of the teardrop. Remember your goal is to cover up all that stamped area. We don't want to see the stamping when the stocking is done. So my threads are a little mm, cattywampus on this one. I'm going to try and make them look full there. Not my favorite one. That looks pretty good. I'm ready to commit and tack the top of the loop. And then I'll do the set of flowers so it'll look just like this. This flower will get filled in with just a bead right here. And since I, it calls for a clear bead, but I have some yellow ones and I'm going to put a yellow one in there. It's my kit and I can change it up like I want to. Now if you're doing the Oz kit, I have, a, I have a hint. When you do the rainbow, start with the outside color first because if you start on the inside, you may get to the outside and be pushed off the felt. That especially was true on the ornament package. The outside line was so close to the edge of the outside felt line uh, that it's better to work in and crowd yourself in than to get to the last row and not have room to put it on. The other thing I noticed is sometimes, and this happens in a lot of kits that have two pieces that join to make the stocking front. When you go to join them, one piece is smaller than the other. It's not by much over here, but if I just stitched it on without thinking about it ahead of time, I might find myself in trouble. And also, I think I've thought about it, and I need to stitch this piece to the blue backing before I put the sequins on uh, because once I have that thread running behind there it's really going to stabilize that felt which is good but then I won't have any room to really pull and make it give to make it meet here. So I'm going to wait and put those sequins on after I've eased the back side into the front side. That will give me the most flexibility while I'm putting it together.